Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm gonna show you how to add in some sorts of um camera recording effect in your video, and we are going to be using the Movavi Editor Plus 2022 version, all right? So here in my folder, which I load up my finder right here, we have two clips that we are going to import, and the first one here, which is called Your Original Video, that is simply the video that you want the camera effects to be in so let's go in and drag these both into the import box and let me go in and demonstrate right now so if i click on this and this is my camera effect i'm gonna show it to you right now so if i were to load this you can see that it looks like an actual camera recording all right so that i actually created this um effect myself let me go in and um go to safari so I will leave this video in the description below. I uploaded this video on January 6th. So um, I will leave that down in the description below if you want to use it. It is royalty free and with no copyright, all right? So if you want a different um, overlay effect, you can simply search up free stock footage camera overlay and then you can see a lot of these other ones, all right? But if you are satisfied with this, then I will simply leave this link in the description below. You can download it and convert it to an MP4 as I did over here, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do now is drag in your original clip into the um, Movavi video timeline. So this is the video that it will look like I am recording it right now, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is add in an extra video track. So click this plus symbol here and add in a video track. And then now drag in your camera effects so effectively um this is going to be some sort of overlay all right and now you can see that this camera effect is far too long so i'm gonna go to kind of like near the end of my original clip i'm gonna drag that in there all right and then i'm going to um to split this i'm gonna trim it with this scissor um icon and then i'm gonna delete the um excess video with um this right here there we go so because my original video is actually 10 minutes long, so I want it to be simply matching my um, main clip, all right? So what I'm going to do with this now is change the opacity settings. So we can do that over here. Click these um, lines and say clip properties. Click on that. And then change the opacity settings to whatever um, you want, all right? It's going to go ahead and update. And now um, over time, you should see that the... Um, the um, original clip is visible and it still has the camera effects right there. So what we are going to do, and now let me go ahead and make it a little bit um, darker. That should be better. Okay, so now if I go ahead and click this, I'm going to go play. Now it actually looks like it is recording. You can see that the recorder, um, the um, red circle is, um, you know, flashing back and forth. Now the next thing we're going to do, though, since we're not completely done, we can add, we can also spice this up a little bit. Make sure you highlight your original video, so it's highlighted yellow. And then we are going to look at some visual effects. So go over to, oh, not this one. Uh, look for the effects. I believe it's this one. Yeah, filters. So we'll go say apply visual effects to videos and photos. So click on that and then click all. And then you can choose a whole bunch of different effects right here. So let me try broken lens. And you can also just click on that and it should show you what it looks like now. For me, if I want to, if I want the camera to look like it's glitching, I think this will be a good effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into, don't drag this effect onto the bottom clip. Don't drag it to your overlay. All right, drag it to the bottom clip, and then see if you like that or not. Um, I'm gonna click play. So it looks like the um camera is glitching as we are driving, which I guess if you want to make some sort of like a horror movie, oops, low battery, oof. All right. If you want to make some kind of horror movie, you can use this as well. Like, let's say um, you want to scare the people or you want some sort of intense moment, you can use this effect. Now, if you want to remove this effect, just simply click the star and then click this X over here. It should say remove. And then, obviously, you can choose more other um, filters if you want. You can also check um, if you want a camera shake, for example. Uh, I don't think we want that. But yeah, anyway, so overall, I hope you get the idea that right now it's simply a um, simply an overlay on, on my original video, and that is how I make the camera effect, all right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out, 
And if you have any extra questions, just comment down below.